Hi guys, good morning, happy Tuesday. I wanted to come on here real quick and talk to y'all about something really important actually. Um, so every Tuesday I come on here and I go live and talk to y'all about um, really anything in our business. But today I wanna to talk to y'all about stop waiting for everything to be perfect to do it. So I, I know that may sound a little weird, but stop waiting to have your makeup perfect and your hair perfect to do that live video. Stop waiting for your outline to be perfected for you to start partying online with people. Um, <clears throat> stop waiting to get a bunch of stock in your home to do an open house. Um, stop waiting for all the perfect printouts to do a bag party. Just do it. Whatever you're wanting to do in your business, stop waiting for something to be perfect for you to take the step to do it because honestly, it's just a excuse to not do it. Um, same thing for systems. Stop waiting to find the perfect thing to have a system. Try a system first to see if it works and if it doesn't, then we're gonna try something else. Um, a lot of times in this business, when people first get started, especially, they're like, oh, well, I want to learn all the things first. I want to know everything there is to know before I get started. No, girl. No, girl. Do it. Do it scared and learn by doing it. It's going to grow you so much more in your business. Um, failing forward is so important in this business. Trying things, making mistakes, and learning from those mistakes is, is what is going to make you a better business woman ha have a better business because you're going to know that you've tried things and you and they haven't worked for you um <clears throat> a lot of times people don't want to go live because they don't think that their hair is perfect or they don't think that their makeup they need to have makeup on or they don't like the sound of their voice guess what i don't either but here i am every single week talking to y'all because i know it's important the outcome of me doing a live video or the outcome of me sharing product live with people is so much more important than how I look doing it or how I sound doing it. Um, I did a coaching call or a call with one of our new directors the other day um, and she was talking about how she was scared to share on a team meeting because she didn't know those people and they didn't know her so she wasn't sure how they were going to accept her. And <clears throat> I just told her, I said, well, that's not a you problem, that's a them problem. Because if they're more worried about how you look or how you sound or the way you come across or whatever it may be, if they're more worried about that than the message or the training or the information they're getting from you because you're a damn boss, then that's a them problem, okay? And same thing for you. If you're more focused on what someone looks like than what you're trying to learn from them in your business, that's a you problem, okay? Um, and it was just a, like a light bulb for her because she was like, you're right, but it's still something that's in you where you want everything to be perfect. You want everything to look pristine and all of that but guess what y'all one people don't like that because they like to see real people that look a hot blessed mess and yes I try and <laughs> I do, do put makeup on and shower daily and try to look nice um but I also come on here when I can um I have a busy day of meetings and appointments today so I'm coming on here right before I go shop go get in the shower um because it's important that I talk to y'all instead of looking a certain way to do it. So same thing for like the in-home parties. A lot of people say, well, I don't have a lot of stock on hand or I don't have this to show. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You, What you need for your business is in your kit. Everything you need for your business is in your kit. You can have an open house. You can have an in-home party. You can do all the things with what you have in your kit, a.k.a. your testers. That is really all you have to have for people to smell those scents. Is it a plus to have things like warmers or um, the wall fan or the pods to be able to explain it? Yes, but don't let that hold you back from doing an in-home party or going to someone's house for a home party because you don't have those things, okay? Um, because guess what? When you have those in-home parties and you do those open houses, scared, I always like to share my first in-home or my first open house right after I joined. I joined with a $49 special. So really all I got in my kit were testers. I think I might've gotten 
I don't know what else, a bit, some business supplies. My open house was literally bins of testers, order forms, and catalogs. And the warmers that I already had on hand, which weren't even available anymore. That's all I had when I started, guys. So just know that, <clears throat> one, no one's perfect, no matter what their social media looks like. And do it scared. It will grow you so much, guys. So I hope you have a good Tuesday. If you have any questions, let me know. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.